So welcome everybody. Uh, it is August 27, 2020. Uh, my name is Kathleen Newman. I'm the manager of education and public programs at Maine Historical Society. And uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, for this virtual program this evening. Um, a Mayor's Notebook, A Night of Acadian Music with Robert Sylvain Jr. Uh, I'm going to introduce Robert in just a moment. I just want to remind everyone um, we're recording this program, um, but the only folks that are going to appear on camera uh, are Robert and myself. If you have questions uh, for Robert, he's happy to entertain them uh, after he performs. So feel, please uh, type your questions into the chat or into the Q&A feature as well. If you'd like to tell us uh, who you are and where you're tuning in from or to say hello, uh, please feel free to use the chat feature throughout the program. Uh, Robert Sylvain uh, Jr. plays the music of the Acadians, the first French settlers of Maine, along with music from the various cultures which touched or influenced their music on their epic journey from France to Acadia to Louisiana and back again, drawing from the notebooks of Acadian ballads that was left to him by his Mamère Thibodeau. Descended uh, from French-speaking first colonists of Maine, Robert grew up in Waterville and he's toured internationally as an emissary of Acadian music to Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Quebec, and France. And Robert started singing professionally for young audiences in 1990 when he was awarded a grant by the Massachusetts Art Council to develop children's music programs for public libraries in Somerville. During that time, uh, Robert met Steve Muse, a fellow Acadian and fiddler, uh, with whom he later formed Maine's premier Acadian folk band. Uh, and Robert, you can pr correct me if I pronounce this wrong. Uh, Boreal Tordu. Bien fait. I, I did it? All right. <laughs> In the wake of Hurricane Katrina, uh, Robert met Louisiana's prodigal son fiddler Matthew Doucette and started uh, okay. the band. I'm sorry? Doucet. Doucet. Sorry, and started, see, I knew I would mess up. Um, and started the band. Is the band also called Doucet? Uh, Deuce. Deuce, which became the inspiration for uh, his Acadian aces, bringing Cajun style music to old Acadie. In 2008, the Maine Arts Council awarded Robert a traditional arts apprenticeship grant to work with renowned Acadian guitarist David Surrett, which allowed him the resources to study and develop traditional folk songs found in his Mamere's notebook. And since then, Robert has scoured folk music archives and around the globe to discover the original melodies and bring those nearly forgotten gems to light. And this is what he joins us tonight uh, to share with us. So I'm gonna turn it over to you now, Robert. Um, and I'm gonna turn off my camera, so our focus is gonna be on you. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you, Kathleen. Um, I should hasten to, to uh, correct uh, Kathleen on one minor point. I, it sounded like, uh, she may have said that I grew up in Waterville, which isn't entirely true. And I uh, want to make sure I dispel any myths uh, because I know that um, when you're from away, you're from away. Even though my parents were both born and raised uh, in Maine, uh, I was uh, born elsewhere, let's just say. Uh, but uh, I'm happy to uh, call uh, Maine my home and to bring uh, uh, some of my main heritage to light, uh, which has sort of been underground for, for these many years. Um, uh, but uh, uh, part of it is uh, bringing up these old uh, Acadian tunes, um, which uh, uh, I've discovered the um, autochthonous melodies for, uh, and also discovered the word autochthonous, which just means the uh, uh, the melodies that uh, existed in the place that uh, they were found. So uh, in this case, uh, these songs were found in a notebook uh, full of old Acadian uh, songs that my meme Thibodeau uh, wrote down. I'll show you um, what, we're, what we're reading from here, sort of. Uh, and I'm going to be uh, uh, singing them not in the original French, but although I'll give you a little taste of the original French in some cases, I'm going to be singing my English translations and I'll talk about um, why I'm doing that uh, 
a, in a little bit. Um, and hopefully we can start a bit of a discussion, but uh, um, uh, this first one is called Cher Lenore, um, and it's an old, old ballad that was uh, made the round all the way from the Middle Ages. It's a very, very old song that made its way to the New World with the Acadians. Um, and uh, uh, the original, one, one of the original old Breton uh, versions, um, it was in a, a minor key. Uh, it sounded something like this, uh, a cappella. Le matin, je me lève à la rose du jour, au château de la belle pour lui faire l'amour. Au dormez-vous, sommeillez-vous, chez la renard. Si vous dormez, sommeillez-vous, c'est votre main qui parle à vous. And now I'm going to sing the uh, Mixolydian mode Acadian version. In the morning, when I rise in the morning when I rise to the rose of the day to the chateau of my love for with her to lay are you asleep and dreaming to Shalonora if you're asleep awake for sooth tis I your love who calls for you so the damsel doth awake and dance her lily robe and thereupon throws wide the door for the one who loves her so. She casts herself into his arms to softly tell, at last it's you, my cherished one, the one that my heart loves so well. Still and hold my sweet love, you'll make me will to weigh the regiment and calls to me and I must obey. I'm yet engaged to six more years in Orleans. For six more years I'm off to war. Oh, sherry well be my children all. Six years, my dear, six more years is far too long a time for which to suffer such torment to worry and to pine. I'll miss you true out in the fields for every tears, regret and forevermore for the one who my heart loves so dear hey! They'll make love to you while I'm not around. They'll tell you so from time to time. Oh, don't you cry. Oh, don't you cry for your own love. For he by now has surely died. All the boys of the town, they know not what to do. It's always the same lyrics and always the same tune. It's not like that with you, my love. Oh, not with you. For every time that you return, there is always something new. Yeah. Thank you, family. I, I, uh, thank you so much. Oh, and I, I'm getting some chat yays and bravos. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Uh, so um, that uh, is a really typical Acadian complaint, as they call them, an old ballad. Most of these are ballads that were um, uh, intended to be sung a cappella, perhaps. Um, uh, the new recordings that I've uh, done have everything from uh, um, a Hurdy Gurdy, which uh, this song uh, features, Betsy Ho Hooper on uh, Hurdy Gurdy, um, and Nicole Rabada on flute. Uh, I've got a whole host of great main uh, traditional music uh, musicians uh, on this new recording. So I hope you seek that out. Um, and I'm going to give you a little taste uh, of um, m hopefully most of uh, these tunes. Um, and there is quite a variety. Um, 
but they all share something um, in the Akkadian culture, uh, something uh, inexplicable really uh, that I've uh, come to uh, take to heart uh, as uh, uh, a message from my meme. Uh, you know, she wrote these songs down with something in mind for her progeny. And um, that one, for instance, the Cher Lenore, in case you, uh, one of the reasons that I, I, I decided to do the, um, the uh, translations is so that, um, you know, my peers, my generation, people like me who grew up uh, not speaking French, you know, my father's first language was French growing up in Waterville, uh, but I grew up in an English speaking world and sort of had to recapture uh, the French language, uh, mostly through music. And, uh, and, and I found in doing that, um, a, uh, a, a, a rich culture, uh, that still exists in Maine, uh, if you, if you look for it. Um, and so, uh, uh, that one, um, has, is a story, uh, about, um, a young man going off to war and, he, uh, his, uh, lover says, what am I going to do without you? Six years is too long to wait. And he says, well, you can always, il y a beaucoup de gens dans la ville qui peut faire l'amour avec toi. He says, there's many boys in the town who will make love to you. And she says, they don't know how to make love. It's always the same lyrics and always the same tune. Uh, and so, it's, uh, th there's these strange twists. I, it, I, I can't help wondering, like, why, why did my meme write that down? Uh, and um, I hope that this starts a discussion a little bit. You know, there's, there's some off-color stuff here, um, but I think that, uh, in, and, and viewed through a modern lens, it might raise some eyebrows, but I, I think there is uh, something to be learned from these old traditional songs. There's no murder ballads about um, men abusing women. Um, there's no, uh, it, although that was, you know, a, uh, a genre, a whole genre of songs uh, uh, that came out of uh, around this, uh, uh, these times. Um, these are old folk songs, anywhere from uh, uh, 300 to uh, 100 years old. Anyway, this next one uh, is a little bit more, uh, it's an also lighthearted. <laughs> but it's a little sad. Um, and uh, it's called Colité de Filles, um, it, which I translated to uh, the, the way uh, of, uh, of girlhood. It's about, a, it's a, fair, a farewell to childhood, basically. Um, and uh, uh, it's, uh, I could talk all uh, night about uh, uh, where it came from and how I got to translate it, but uh, uh, I guess you're here more to listen to the music, so I'll just sing it. It goes like this. Jean. I made a vow when I was young to be where to not one but now I see and I found a way to leave my home and fly away I yield to my childish ways farewell I'm leaving today this band of gold I carry near Wrapped around my finger, dear. Twas my true love who it to me gave. For with me to spend our days. Goodbye to my childish ways. Farewell, I'm leaving today. Oh, here we are. Around the table, all my friends and my family. I'm leaving now, from them do I see. From my eyes do flow the tears. Goodbye to my 
childish ways Farewell, I'm leaving today Goodbye, Ma Goodbye, Pa Very well, my parents sweet I'm leaving now in regret and pain But I know I'll see you again Goodbye to my childish ways Farewell, I'm leaving today Adieu, le colleté de fille Adieu, je m'en vais vous quitter Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so questions are coming in and I want to, uh, I want to try to. So I've, I've been writing down some of the questions, Robert, if you want to, if you want to take some of them now, I know someone asked what tuning is the guitar in? Good question. It's dad gad. Um, thanks to uh, my mentor, David Surratt, a great Acadian guitarist from uh, Berwick, Maine, uh, who uh, I studied with um, thanks to a grant from the Maine Arts Council. So thanks for that question, Dad Gad. And I know a couple people are wondering too, did your grandmother, did she actually write these songs or she, she copied them into her notebook? What can you distinguish? Yeah, good question. So thank you for uh, uh, letting me clarify that. The, these are old folk songs that my meme wrote down from her memory from her childhood. Uh, they're passed down through the generations. Um, so she wrote the lyrics down uh, without the melodies. Uh, and uh, it's not uncommon for, um, for uh, women, uh, mostly, of, um, of this culture to write down old folk songs in a notebook. And that's what she did. So uh, yeah, m most of the melodies that I, I found were in field recordings from uh, places like the University of Maine, Fort Kent, uh, or uh, the University of Moncton in New Brunswick uh, and on the internet. Uh, so it's been a 15 year uh, research project. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let you get back to the music. I'll ask you Great. one more question. I'll keep I'll keep writing them down, folks. So keep them coming. Um, how many songs are in the notebook, and were you able to find music for all of them? Good question. So um, there's about uh, three dozen songs in the original notebook, um, and I've found about half of them. Uh, and so far, um, and I just recently uh, recorded this year recorded. Uh, the first dozen um, that I've been uh, arranging and translating. Uh, and so it's available now on our, my website, uh, robertsylvain.com. Uh, so you can order it and uh, download uh, or uh, buy the two CD set. I made uh, one CD with 12 songs um, in the original French and then uh, another CD with the same songs with my English translations and new um, sort of uh, modern or more modern arrangements. Did that answer? It? Yeah. So, yes, yeah, excellent. Um, <laughs> so at this uh, point, I'd love to uh, introduce my son, Johnny Sylvain. He's going to play the spoons on this next tune, um, which uh, the original. Um, melody that uh, I found was in um, uh, uh, it was from the archives of KDN in Maine Fort Kent. Uh, at the time, uh, 15 years ago, it was uh, directed by the great Lisa Ornstein, uh, who recognized it right away as, uh, when I showed her the notebook, uh, recognized this one and a few others. Uh, but this one was one that she had um, made a field recording of, uh, uh, or taken a field recording from the archives and transcribed it uh, and put it in her um, uh, periodical, uh, her, her column called uh, Bonjour des Archives uh, in the St. John 
Valley Times. Um, so I took that transcript and not having heard the original field recording, um, I immediately heard a kind of a, a bouncy, um, uh, jazzy uh, beat. Um, uh, apparently the um, field recording is uh, what she calls a parlor ballad, which uh, probably would have been sung more like in the style of my father. Quand je demeurais en ville, je me promène souvent avec le plus de jolies filles qui demeuraient au couvent. J'allais voir une brunette. Oh, you know, it's a salon. Oh, je rose à la coquette, elle n'avait que de suite But I do it a little bit bouncier like this. Uh, 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 when I used to hang around the town, I'd go wherever girls went that would often take me down around. By the sacred convent, there I saw a girl so pretty. Dark brown eyes shining at me. Cheeks of frozen hair of ebony. She was only 18. Oh, wait. One night light by the light of the full moon. We took a walk together down the lovely path of greenery. Down a path so tender. I won't say she was immodest, certainly she was a shortest. Ah, wait. There we lay beneath the old oak tree, that's when I made a promise. And today that very girl's my wife, my heart is even fonder, love her with the wholeness of my life. With a love profound, oh, the happiness of marriage. We have got all that we could want. But the youngest of our children now have hair of gold and blonde. All you younger girls who live in town. Don't rush out too quickly before you go ahead and settle down. Wait until you're 20. That's the age that all young please appreciate more definitely. <laughs> the happiness of having family, the peace and the tranquility. Hey! Johnny Swain, everybody. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> so again, that one's a, a, a little a bit of a head scratcher in terms of like, what uh, is my meme trying to tell me here? Um, the, the, she was married at 16. She was married at the tender age of 16. And, and, and so in this one here, uh, the young uh, lady is married at the age of 18. And that's one of three times in this notebook that, uh, refers to 18 being too young to get married. And that's the uh, advice at the end, to uh, wait until you're 20. <laughs> so, um, so that's that. Yeah, um, oh, I just have to see what the comments are saying. Thank you all for the comments. And on the clap, 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 I love that. Um, it's good to see some uh, familiar names there too. Uh, so um, this, I'm going to jump ahead to the end of the CD. If you get the CD, um, uh, there's a, a bit of an arc. Uh, and there's a couple of waltzes and a couple of, um, of ballads. Um, and uh, this waltz uh, features Junior Stevens on the accordion. I wish he could be sitting next to me here. And I wish you could all be uh, in front of me in real life. Someday we'll do that. Um, but uh, for now, 
we'll have to um, appreciate each other uh, digitally. This is called Le Mot de Vantan. When I think of my mother, I think of our 20 years. I think also of my lover, the one I love so dear. She and I were the same age when we found ourselves deep in love. Yes, it is such a sweet thing just to have known such a love. I hold you in my arms and know we'll never part. Down low, I tell her so, my twenty-year heart. Down low, I tell her so, your beauty and your charm. Never will I forget our twenty years of love. I find you fascinating, you and your eyes so blue, your smiling lips in waiting, you and your golden hair too, you look just like an angel, you're all I'm thinking of. Yes, it is such a sweet thing Just to have known such a love Je tiens la tienne dans my bras La soupe que j'en ai tant Tout bas je lui disais Mon creux de bon temps Tout bas je lui disais Tu es belle et charmant Non, jamais je mes amours de vent ah. Voilà. Merci. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so a lot of pretty songs, a um, lot to choose from. I'm going to run out of time because I talk too much, so I apologize in advance, um, and I'd love to find out if uh, we can go over time, how much time do we have? Oh, we're only halfway through, but I've got. Yeah, we're 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 good. Okay, great. Um, so um, this one is another classic Acadian uh, complaint, an old uh, epic ballad. It's called uh, "Je suis délaissé sans amant." The uh, I I call it the abandoned lover, uh, and. Um, it can be found. Um, uh, it can be found all over the place. Um, it, uh, in in um, Conrad Lafort's uh, catalog of, of French songs, he, um, he calls it uh, "Le Retour du Soldat, Sa Belle Couvente," uh, which means uh, the um, the um, return of the soldier whose um, lover has gone to the convent. And that's sort of what it's about. It's got a weird uh, classic uh, Acadian twist at the end. Um, uh, and it's also found uh, in uh, the Lomax recordings of uh, traditional music in coastal Louisiana. So uh, there is one example of, uh, out of many of uh, the, um, the connection between the Acadians of the North, which is my heritage, uh, and the Cajuns of uh, Louisiana, um, uh, who are you know also Acadian. It's just the sa same word, di same people, uh, different, uh, 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 separated by 150 years of diaspora. So enough about that. If you want, if you want to ask questions about it, I'm happy to talk and talk and talk about that because it's a brilliant and interesting story uh, uh, that was well told um, by uh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. And I'm sure that the Maine Historical Society will tell you all about it if you reach out to them. Uh, so um, this one is called The Abandoned Lover.
got that love of mine Abandoned and alone for quite some time Just to be with the others in his regiment Off to the war my lover went away He left me here alone in abandonment Waiting alone for to count the days It came to be that after time was spent I took myself away to the convent Off to a world full of orphan souls Reconciled to spend my life languishing Such suffering is all in the telling I would never see my lover again Five or six or seven months had passed When my dear love returned at last Straight to the home of my father Out of respect to ask for his consent Good day, my father, where is your daughter? The one who loved make my heart content Soldier hastened like the wind straight to the door of the convent. There he asked the mother superior, Oh, to see for just one moment. Please let me be his mother superior, see the youngest of the convent. Three times over said the bold young lad. My Bella Moore, give to me your hand This gold ring I give to you, my lover This is to show you my eternal faith Never, for oh, never will I know another So may you never forget this day Just as the ring of gold had caught my eye My dear lover suddenly died Straight into the arms of a still swooning lass Sad for to see his love come to pass One last embrace, even after death So I may know your tenderness Thank you, thank you Thank you, so yeah um, Some of it gets a little dark A little funky um, but it's all, I feel, got um, a message, um, either of humor or, uh, um, or warning or, um, or both. <laughs> anyway, uh, this next one is uh, one that my father actually remembered right away uh, when I sh first showed him the, the notebook. I got it. Uh, at, at from my from his sister um, when my meme uh, passed um, about 20 years ago uh, and the notebook came to me because um, my aunt Trudy knew that uh, I was playing with Borrell Tordu and Steve Muse and that I was interested in Acadian heritage music uh, and uh, uh, and so th this one uh, according to my father was one of meme's favorites called a petit roll uh, and he said, oh, yeah, this is, uh, you know, one of her favorites. It goes, oh, that's a pretty little bouncy melody. And I read the lyrics, and it's about a young girl whose stepmother uh, tortures her within inches of her life with a red-hot iron and starves her. Uh, and uh, I thought, God, that's just really grisly and grim it doesn't really fit the bouncy melody um uh but there is a, a happy ending um because in the end uh the little girl dies and goes to heaven to see her real mother 
Uh, so um, anyway, some of you may recognize the melody actually as a, a cowboy song from the 1920s. Uh, and sure enough, uh, it turns out that this melody is, this, is the prisoner's song um, originally recorded or first recorded, I think, by Vernon Dalhart. And uh, it w was like a million dollar um, country record. Um, and it was um, really popular in Quebec uh, and uh, as the Chanson de Prisonnier. Uh, but it also got, like many folk songs do, uh, got uh, um, co opted for, for new lyrics uh, about this um, young Petit Aurore, which my uh, aunt insisted was a true story. And indeed, there is a, um, a, a famous uh, true crime court case out of uh, Quebec. Um, I'm, I'm not sure which decade, but uh, Aurore Gagnon was, was tortured by her, um, by her stepmother and, and, and killed. Uh, anyway, so um, I, uh, I took, I, I kept true to the original melody, uh, but I put it in a minor key um, uh, put minor chords over the over the uh, the happy melody, and it gives it a a, a very uh, somber feel. So here it is, Petit Aurora. <laughs> A young girl who so loved the good Lord And despite all her suffering great To the heavens she held her gaze Her bell met a wretched bell down Made the girl endure torment and harm Petita She never had a true mother dear Their house, it would seem like a home It would seem happy all of the time the bellman would pass for a ground down. One would never suspect such a crime. She would torture the poor little girl with a red hot iron, the fiend. Petite petite martyr. She never. Not until the child was on her last breath In great pain, nearly starving to death The Marat would be there but to scold with some bread only dressed with lye soap. If you dare to refuse, said the beast, I'll kill you without another thought. Petite Aurora, Petite Marty. True mother appeared one morning, and she told of salvation anon. Would take her to the sky forevermore. 
gracious God knew that when she died, she would search all the angels and find Petit Dorot, Petit Martyr, she finally found her true mother Thank you. Merci. Merci. All right. Yes, there were two ma movies made of that story. There's at least one that I know of. There's two, two that, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, cool. A lot of people know that story. Amazing. Okay, cool. Um, thank you all for listening. I'm going to go back here and play you another um, uh, waltz. Let me tune up. There's two, uh, there's two waltzes in this collection. Um, the, the one uh, that I played earlier was a, uh, a musette that really um, uh, has some twists and turns, but is really a classic sort of musette style. This one... Um, uh, the field recording that I uh, drew from and the only uh, source that I was able to find for this song um, was uh, from a collection uh, called Chansons d'Acadie, uh, published by the University of Moncton, New Brunswick, uh, and Father Anselm uh, Cheasson um, tra transcribed them. I'm not sure what the original sources are. I have to get up to... Um, to Moncton uh, to, to dig a little deeper, uh, but there's a 13-volume uh, set of uh, hundreds and hundreds of these uh, old Acadian songs, many of them uh, uh, matched up with songs from my Meme's notebook, and uh, uh, this one uh, came with a little field recording by uh, the good f uh, father, Père Chaisson, uh, and he sang it sort of like this. Dis-moi donc ce que tu penses, toi que ne penses plus à moi. Moi qui avais tant d'espérance, c'est le mot que tu me disais. Um, but I felt like it wanted to slow down, so I sang it more with a Cajun style, and it came out like this. Tell me then, what are you thinking? You who don't think too much of me It is I who is always clinging To every word that you say to me I can see well I've been abandoned You don't love me like you used to do I love you more than myself I would fain give to you my life You cannot bear to feel the heartbreak To see you go with another wife I can see, well, I've been abandoned You don't love Where the wind. 
heart I do For I now must abandon you You have chosen to find another Don't forget what I gave to you I can see well I've been abandoned You don't love me like you used to do So you want them to see my heart Thank you. Thank you, family. Uh, I was kind of hope. Thank you. I was kind of hoping that uh, my oldest, Susanna, would be here uh, to sing uh, a couple of duets um, uh, that are on the record. Um, Susanna spent uh, a year in France and uh, speaks French better than me, so she uh, it's, uh, it was really a treat uh, and an honor to have uh, them sing on uh, this record, um, which I hope that you'll all be uh, interested in um, purchasing. You can get it on my website. Uh, once again, for those of you um, who are just joining us, uh, robertsylvain.com. And I think um, that uh, the Maine Historical Society will have a link uh, for you. There it is. Thank you. Thank thanks, Kathleen. Um, I have a couple more songs for you, though. Um, uh, but I would, I'd love to hear some questions if there are other questions. Yeah, I've got, we've gotten a lot of questions if you want okay. to take a few more. Love to. Um, <clears throat> what would you say are the most traditional Acadian instruments? Great question. So um, one uh, tricky part about um, uh, digging back into traditional folk music is that uh, it depends on what you call traditional. Um, and that can be sometimes um, a, 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 a sticky um, question because, um, for instance, um, accordion is uh, uh, widely accepted as a, uh, um, a mainstay of Akkadian uh, music. However, um, the accordion wasn't invented until um, the late 19th century, uh, well, okay, mid-19th mid century, um, and it found its way into every single folk music around the world, um, and, and the, the Acadians um, of, uh, 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 of Nova Scotia and Maine, um, you know, were, were, were kicked out of their homeland uh, in the mid-18th century. Uh, so if you want to talk about like what uh, kind of uh, instrumentation um, the Acadians may have brought with them from the old world uh, in those first 150 years uh, from when they landed in Maine, um, when first landed in Maine in 1604 uh, to when uh, the Grand Derangement, the Great Dispersal of uh, the Acadians happened in 1755. Well, you're probably going to be looking at medieval instruments, Renaissance instruments, uh, something like um, the hurdy gurdy, for instance, which is uh, something that I used uh, for this recording. And it, it turns out that it uh, uh, figures really well with this uh, type of, of music um, because it's mostly um, uh, diatonic or, or modal. Uh, music and so you've got this you know a, a lot of these um, droney songs with a with an ostinato a bass ostinato um, so that's why I chose hurdy gurdy um, but I, uh, m my sense is that a lot of these songs were intended to be sung a cappella um, uh, you know my meme had this notebook she also had uh, several uh, uh, loose sheets 
of uh, copies of songs so that you can pass it around and you might uh, sing it in a group around a fire. Um, so uh, with regard to these old ballads, uh, these epic um, uh, complaints uh, and broadsides, uh, they would probably be sung a cappella. And then there's another um, sort of separate tradition of uh, fiddle tunes. Um, and, and that's where you get that you'll hear uh, like what Steve Muse uh, does uh, with the tapping his feet tack -a -tack, tack -a -tack, and fiddling. Um, uh, and that's uh, a connected but sort of uh, separate um, uh, genre um, of, of Acadian music. Uh, so, and then you've also got, um, uh, you know, other traditions uh, like the chanson à rapon, which is the call and response, um, which and a lot of these tunes are, are like that, but um, uh, uh, for reasons that I'm not going to get into, uh, I didn't put, the, uh, didn't pr uh, present them as chanson à rapon. Um, uh, so that's another subject, uh, uh, but I uh, hope that answered the question. I only said very two, much. I only <laughs> said two instruments, but you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, fi fiddle, um, uh, flute, accordion, um, guitar for sure. Um, you know, it, uh, it's typically like kitchen parties that uh, uh, would. Uh, um, uh, would, would be the, the mode of performance, you know, not concert halls. Do you know when that song, uh, Petit Aurore, was written? No, I don't. Um, the, uh, yeah, I, uh, I did find another field recording of it in uh, the archives at the University of Vermont, where a, uh, um, an older woman sings um, part of it and she forgets the words, but they're the same words as these that my meme had. Um, so, uh, so, but the melody is definitely taken from the Chanson du Prisonnier. So it was at, it, it, 20th century. Uh, and on a technical, uh, technical question, someone's asking what uh, brand and model microphone are you using? Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, hmm. it, it's a, um, does it sound good? That's, is that? It you know, does. Yeah. We're getting a lot of, uh, yeah. People say it sounds glad, great. <laughs> glad, glad to hear it. It's a Audio Technica 4040. Sort of the standby for, uh, um, acoustic. Excellent. So the, the questions are keep, or keep coming in. I've got some more, I think I'll save until, you know, the very end, but if you'd okay. like to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. So please. maybe we have, go ahead. Do, do we have Susanna? No. No. I heard somebody um, uh, singing cuckoo. Uh, okay, well then, um, uh, I'm going to do uh, the duet, but uh, I'm going to do it a duet with myself. And I will sort of explain <laughs> a little bit about the chanson à répondre because um, this is a, uh, it's a genre that we're all familiar with. It's call and response. Um, but in uh, Quebecois music, it's, um, uh, probably best <laughs> known in uh, or, or described by people not familiar with the genre uh, by referring to Monty Python's um, I'm a lumberjack, lumberjack and I'm okay. Uh, so <laughs> you thought that was funny. Good. Um, uh, and it does sort of have that uh, feel to it um, sometimes um, where you've got this uh, strong male vocal followed by several other strong male vocals uh, repeating the, the phrase. Well, um, when I started singing uh, this uh, kind of music uh, and I, I was singing it all in French, the English translations came much later, much more recently. Uh, and so, you know, uh, when I uh, would play in um, Quebec or uh, um, New Brunswick or uh, places where this music uh, was still alive, um, you know, you could get a response. But mostly I was playing uh, 
to, to my peers, my, you know, uh, my brethren in, in Maine, many of them who have Acadian heritage but have lost the language um, because uh, the assimilation uh, of my father's generation, um, for him, it was a, uh, a liability uh, to, to speak French. And so he didn't pass it on really to, uh, to, to us. Um, so I had to recapture it. And in any case, um, I was lacking the audience to repeat it in French. Uh, so on this new record, I have it in French with my uh, daughter re uh, uh, um, repeating the French uh, lyric, um, my eldest child, I should say. Um, and then um, on, on the other, uh, the English version, I have uh, the English with um, uh, all of my children uh, repeating it. But what I'm going to do for you right now, if you uh, will allow it, uh, is sing the French with the response in English. Um, and it's tricky. So bear with me. When the bird begins a song to sing, oh, let it ring to begin the day. Bonté suprême, c'est un moment que tu, je t'aime, veux tu m'aimer? Would you, would you, if I say I love you, would you love me? Veux tu, veux tu, que tu, je t'aime, veux tu m'aimer? Quand l'ombre pure se lève de la mémère des rochers, when the shadow is seen upon the green of the rocks to breathe along the bay. Bonté suprême, c'est à moi-même, que ti je t'aime, veux tu m'aimer? Veux tu, veux tu, que ti je t'aime, veux tu m'aimer? Would you, would you, if I say you love me, would you love me? Sur le rivage de vrai, pas cage de le mirage, le vrai ma palais. Along the shore and upon the moor, l'ancient lore it seems to say. Bonté suprême, c'est à moi-même, que ti je t'aime, veux tu m'aimer? Veux tu, veux tu, que ti je t'aime, veux tu m'aimer? Would you, would you, if I say I love you, would you love me? Quand tu reposes dessus, c'est rose, de mille choses, tu as rêvé. And when you sleep in roses deep, a thousand dreams will come your way. Bonté suprême, c'est à moi-même, que ti je t'aime, veux tu m'aimer? Veux tu, veux tu. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so uh, I'm going to um, sing now. Um, I'm going to try to squeeze in two more tunes. I know it's pa it's seven o'clock, but if you uh, will, um, if you will, hang with me. I'd love to um, do a couple think, of encores. <laughs> I think we would love that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm not going to do the eight verse dirge that's a cappella. <laughs> oh! My wife liked that. Um, but I am going to do this um, funky number um, that on the record um, uh, features uh, Neil Perlman on piano. Absolutely gorgeous. I wish he was here to play it with me. I've got my piano in front of me, but I'm not going to play it. Um, because I won't do it justice. But this one is called En Soie Dive. Oh, sorry. One winter's night by the light of the moon I had a vision of an angel blonde 
And through the snow, a child without fortune. She was dressed as though a vagabond. Her eyes of blue betrayed her sorrow. From hunger, she was near the grave. I brought her to my humble hollow. Her life I knew that I must save. And seeing that young girl, so pretty and so sweet, oh, will you be my world? I asked her tenderly, be mine forevermore. There's so much goodness, no. Yes, we will surely wed in the blooming of the roses. She was so young and she was just an angel. Alas, but she had no one else to go. Her beauty was unmatched among the orphans. I couldn't help myself but love her so. Her hair of gold, her youth and beauty. Her blue eyes were both mild and brave. Her simple poise and gentle manner. Her life I knew that I must save. And seeing that young girl, so pretty and so sweet, oh, will you be my world? I asked her tenderly, be mine forevermore. There's so much goodness knows. Yes, we will surely wed in the blooming of the roses. She told me of her 18 years of pain. I am too young for you to marry me. Just stay with me, I told her, Madalena. And for too young, you will surely see. Ah, oh, yes, oh, yes, it's you, dear, I adore. For all my life, for you, I've pined. Oh, I ask you once and many more. Oh, tell me yes to ease my mind. And seeing that young girl, so pretty and so sweet, oh, will you be my world? I asked her tenderly, be mine forevermore. There's so much goodness, no. Yes, we will surely wear in the blooming of the roses. The girl at last consented to my offer. And six months later, I became her man. I loved her so much. Uh, oh, she was so wise and proper. I loved her so much. I was nearly mad. Oh, too much bliss will never stay there. Her happiness did not last long. She passed away in her first labor. My pain eternally in song. At last when spring returns and nature comes to life, I remember wistfully the kisses of my wife. And looking at the child And watching as she grows Reminds me of the time Of the blooming of the roses That was that song. Thank you. Hey, you're here. Yeah. Will you sing a song with me? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Susanna Sylvain. Hi. You want to sit right here? Yeah. All right, hooray. Uh, it's perfect timing. Um, so shall we sing it? And we're going to sing a song called Depart Don't Sell That, which ah. on the record, uh, which I hope that you guys all uh, manage to hear somewhere, uh, somehow. Um, go out and, uh, and buy it or find it. Um, because it has... Uh, Susanna and I singing both in English and French, a French version and an English version with all sorts of uh, friends and neighbors and supporters uh, singing on a Zoom recording uh, the, the, um, the response in this chanson à répondre. Uh, so I've got the rest of my family here who, uh, and they could sing the, um, the responses off camera if you want or on camera if you want. 
You can, Johnny, you want to you can come back. Sit, sit in the back. Ansel, you want to join us for this? You, you sing. Yeah. Sue doesn't want to. Does Lily want to join us? Lily's already gone. I already lost him. Uh, that's all right, though. Uh, so uh, this is my last song. Um, do we want to do a Q&A now or after this? Why don't we, let's save it until um, after your, your last song. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Uh, thank you, Kathleen and Maine Historical Society for having me. Uh, I hope I'll have a chance to uh, answer all your questions, if not uh, uh, after this, but, uh, um, you know, let's stay in touch. You can um, like my Facebook page and um, uh, reach out to me on my, my uh, website as well. Uh, so this is Departance Soldat. Should we sing it in English or French? I've been singing them all in English because when pe most, most people, I, I think no, there are some, some people who speak French here, but. I think that these lyrics are so ridiculous that it's worth singing in English yep. so that people can understand okay. how silly it is. It is silly. Oh, but silly I song. just, I'm seeing like everybody says in French. So let's do it in French. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, let's do it in French. Like, um, uh, more people oh, know. yeah. Well, yeah, but Regine Riddlesley is from France. Of course, she's going to say <laughs> <Okay>. French. <laughs> Everybody wants to hear it in French. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Je suis pas trop mal à ma naze quand j'ai je la près de moi. De temps en temps, je le regarde. Nuit des ans, la belle embrasse c'est moi. De temps en le regarde. Ready? En lui disant, ma belle, embrassez-moi. 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 Il vous en dit la vérité. Mon cheval est à Hikiri, à tout prix des ailes, tout prêt à partir. De ma cheval est à Hikiri, tout prix des ailes, tout prêt à partir. Prêt à partir. Prêt à partir. Qui sont sans foi, plus belle et plus jolie que moi. Jolie que moi, jolie que moi. Je fais référence du figuère, semblable à trois belles en peinture. Le metteur est dans mes sentiers. Ah oui, sans foi, bonjour, je l'embrasserai. Je n'attarai dans mon sentier. Ah oui, ce fois, pas je l'embrasserai. 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 Que jamais que je l'entendrai, je le dirai à ma ça. maîtresse. Le ce que jamais que je l'entendrai, le, le temps en mai, le temps en mai. Merci. 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 Merci.
Have a seat. Have a seat. Susanna Sylvain, Johnny Sylvain, Ansel Knight. And Sue over there. And Sue oh, over there. there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this has really been fantastic, thank Robert. Thank you so much. And thank you to all your family. Um, the feedback that's coming in over the chat is uh, is wonderful. Everybody's really having Glad a to great hear it. time. I know you've been the dinner entertainment for, for many a people. And uh, someone said they were enjoying their jambalaya while they were awesome. listening to you and uh this has been it's really been great so thank you so much i'm going to share with you some of the other questions we've gotten i may not get to every single one but i'm going to try and get to okay. most of them um so this uh your memes notebook um did you do the translations yourself and was that an easy or a difficult process? um i did do the translations myself uh it was actually easier than i thought it would be um, given that, uh, uh, and, and I think the reason is because uh, I didn't set out to translate them originally. Um, I had been, um, I found them, I researched the melodies, and I, I started putting them together um, uh, with David Surratt and, and uh, with the help of David Surratt and uh, Steve Muse with the arrangements um, and singing them in French. So I sang them in French and, and sort of internalized them for a good 10 years before I tackled um, uh, their English translations. So I think that helped to have them really sort of to know their essence in, in French. Do you know, um, like, is there a particular date for the notebook? Does it span over many years? Do you know about when your grandmother yeah, there, was there is a it? date on it. Um, uh, it says on the uh, first page, 1966, um, which is before I was born, um, but uh, it may have, it, it looks like it might not be it, it, in my memes handwriting. It's, it's definitely, in, it's on a different pen. Um, so my, my uh, aunt might have written that there. I don't know why it would be dated. It was, looked like it was dated afterwards. But anyway, at least 1966. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about uh, publishing the notebook? Thank you for asking. I thought you'd what never you know. <laughs> uh, I wonder if that is a, sh a shill. I'm going to have to look to see who asked that. Um, but uh, yes, and in fact, I am publishing the notebook. I was uh, t actually uh, using this sort of as a cheat sheet from time to time. Um, uh, and uh, it was my set list. And this has... Um, this just came out. It's got all of the um, the uh, notes and chords um, with uh, the sources and a little uh, biography of the song, along with the French, um, original French and the English translations and um, bits of the uh, original um, notebook. They're like, wow. this is the facsimiles of the notebook and there's some other like uh you know maps and and genealogical uh data and 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 my notes and um uh there's the first 12 songs that so this song book um is available also on my website uh as a companion to the two cd set so thanks for that question wonderful that's wonderful now, did you learn the ballads or how to play the guitar first? Oh yeah, so um, I started playing guitar um, about uh, 45 years ago. Um, so yeah, um, uh, I, I started playing guitar as a young man um, bef before, uh, you know, and I, I would, we would visit Meme and, and they would sing but I was removed from that. You know, we would go and play outside when they started singing. Um, so I, I heard a lot of French growing up from my, my dad and his family, but I didn't speak French until uh, uh, later when I discovered um, the music of my heritage uh, as something that was, not, you know, not um, a... Uh, uh, not something in the dustbin, but something alive and, and, and worth pursuing. So now, started, these, yeah. these songs, someone's asking, are they share 
similarities with um, songs from this tradition like that we would hear in Louisiana? Yeah, right, absolutely. So interestingly, um, what, uh, so without going too far into the, the history, which, which I encourage you all to, um, to look into, the Acadians uh, first uh, settled in the New World, uh, landing in Maine in 1604, but then in 1755, uh, the beginning of the French and Indian War, they were kicked out of uh, uh, their homeland and became a diaspora. Many of them ended up in Louisiana, and that's uh, who we call the Cajuns. Cadian, Cajun, same, same people, same name, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but uh, the interesting bit of the heritage is that because of the um, ensuing 200, or no, 150 years, um, uh, the Acadians of the North and the Cajuns, uh, you know, had different influences. Um, the uh, Acadians were influenced by the Quebecois up in the mm -hmm. St. John River Valley uh, and the Scotch-Irish uh, and the Breton uh, influence. Um, uh, and, and meanwhile, the Cajuns uh, were hanging out with the Creoles in Louisiana. Um, and, and people, uh, fr uh, French speaking people of, of African descent uh, and Spanish pe uh, speaking people um, because Louisiana at the time was uh, controlled by uh, the Spanish empire. So there's a lot of different influences and therefore the music grow grew up a little bit differently. However, there are definitely instances where um, those old ballads that weren't uh, in the, um, what we think of or what we're, we've been um, presented as the Cajun repertoire. Um, these are, uh, you know, ballads like this that, that show up in old field recordings uh, done by um, Alan Lomax. And um, a professor at LSU um, by the name of uh, uh, John Caffrey um, wrote a really interesting book um, uh, detailing the origins of all of those Lomax recordings uh, the, of uh, Southern Louisiana. So uh, if you're interested in that kind of thing, um, that's a good, great resource. It was a great resource for me. And I'll say too, um, if you're anyone who's interested in learning more about Acadian history, especially Acadian history in Maine, uh, Maine Historical Society is a great resource too. Um, right now, our exhibit, uh, State of Mind, Becoming Maine, uh, one of the communities that we're looking at that moment of statehood um, through their eyes is the Acadian community. Uh, so a lot of their story is included in that exhibit. I'm going to share the link to the online version of that exhibit again in the chat. And um, our campus in Portland is currently open. We Our hours are, are kind of limited. Um, our capacity is limited. We're trying to keep everybody safe and keep the collection safe. Uh, but if you visit our website, mainhistory.org, um, you can purchase tickets to uh, visit the exhibit in person if you'd like. If you're not able to visit in person, uh, please take a look online. And we have um, also on our website, uh, we did a great uh, chat with um, our curator of that exhibit, Tilly Lasky chatted with uh, Lise Pelletier of the Acadian Archives um, at the University of Maine. And you can see that conversation on our website and we're gonna be talking with Lise again uh, on January 21st, 2021 as part of our bicentennial programming. So stay tuned, we've got uh, a lot more um, Acadian history to share with everybody. Um, what was your criteria uh, for including songs on the CD? Um, that's a good question. Well, uh, for this first volume, um, I had, um, by the time I started recording, I had a little, not much more than a dozen uh, found melodies. Um, and uh, at least one of them was uh, a, a repeat, like uh, the, the Chanson de Prisonnier. So it was actually the same melody, right? With, a di with two different sets of lyrics. Um, uh, so I cho chose one uh, of those. Um, and then uh, while I was recording, actually, I, uh, while I was getting it together, they started 
coming in. There's, I'm still researching, I'm still finding these, and there's, there's still dozens to, to, uh, um, to match up with their autochthonous uh, melodies. Uh, but uh, one that was not in the original, um, but just came to me uh, uh, last summer was that um, Chanson à Rapin, the Vite Mame, uh, which uh, Le Vent de Nord put on their uh, most recent CD. And I get the, the Le Vent de Nord CD, uh, CDs as soon as they come out. I, I order them online because I just love that band. Um, and uh, uh, to my surprise, immediately I recognized uh, a song that had been stuck in my head the lyrics were were stuck in my head but i never knew the the melody uh and i searched for it and searched for it and there it was on their cd with a different title um so i i had to throw that on at the last minute and i'm glad i did uh so yeah more to come well i hope that you'll um that you'll keep in touch with us and let us know what you're doing. I hope that we can do more programs like this together. I hope that we'll be able to do one in person again that soon. Would be lovely. This was really wonderful. Everybody that joined us, um, you were such a great audience too. Thank you so much for your great questions and your participation. Um, I'm going to leave on, on one more question, which might be um, my favorite from the evening. Was someone was asking for your Meme's fiddlehead recipe? Was that something you'd like to share? Or? <laughs> Oh, that's a great question. Maybe that's a family secret. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there is one um, that I am uh, uh, that I could dig up, um, uh, but uh, uh, I I don't I don't know it off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> but but uh, if you stay in touch, we'll de we can definitely uh, at least share uh, Tuchier uh, recipes. I nice, have a, a nice. Pretty good version of my memes Tuchier that uh, my wife whips up. That's great. I'm going to share Robert's um, website again in the chat. Again, it's, uh, it's robertsylvain.com. Um, main history is uh, mainhistory.org. Main um, for those of you that are interested in seeing this uh, again, or maybe sharing this with someone who couldn't participate live, look for it on our website, mainhistory.org. And um, anything else that you'd like to uh, share with us, Robert, about anything um, upcoming that you want to plug while you're here? No, uh, I, you know, the, the concert season is kind of <laughs> um, on hold right now. Sure. But, uh, but I, I am trying to uh, promote uh, um, this, these recordings. So please, uh, um, if you enjoyed what you saw, uh, look me up on Facebook or, or, or on my website uh, and let's stay in touch because I see some uh, some Acadian uh, last names there. I see so, uh, some Thibodeaux's that I, mm -hmm. uh, that I haven't uh, met, um, but there's a lot of us out there. My meme was a Thibodeau. Uh, and uh, so uh, I'm, I'm hoping that this will be uh, the beginning of, you know, a conversation about what Acadian culture is and remains uh, and, and will be in the future. That's great. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you again, everybody, uh, for joining us. Um, please continue to follow uh, Robert on his website and on Facebook. You can follow uh, MHS online uh, and through social media, too. Um, and we hope we'll see you guys back here again for another virtual program real soon. Thank you, Kathleen, and thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Robert, and thank you to your family, too. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, pass it on. <laughs>